wonder where you've been. Good morning. Don't want, don't want you getting lost in these woods, do we? So come on, come with me. Anyway, today is something a little bit different. Something I really, rarely do on this channel. I've got a bit of a game review to do. And this could be a bit of a game changer because it's all about this. The GD3W geared head. If you know me, never used a gear head. I've always been a ball head man. And I always, always use a small ball head. Very compact. This thing, a little bit bigger, but we'll get to a little location which I've nicknamed the Goblin's Lair in this woodland. You'll see what I mean. I'll talk you through all this because it's going to be the first time I've used this today as well. So, yeah, if you've never used one before and if you're interested about what how one works or if you're interested in actually purchasing one, this is this video is for you. So, yeah, come along and let's get going. Right, peeps, as I mentioned before, this is the Goblin's Lair. Unfortunately, one of the branches has now broken off because this has been down quite a while. We have got a touch of atmosphere as well. A bit of low-lying mist hanging around. But like I mentioned, today it's all about this thing. The KNF GD3W, the geared head. So let me get the camera out and let's have a look for a competition round here because there's one or two nice ones in here. Unfortunately, the top branch had snapped off. So again, important if you find something and the conditions are right, just take an image anyway, because when you come back, it could be all changed. So yeah, but let me get the camera out. I'll go through one or two little, what all these knobs and that do with you? Right then, I'm just working this composition now. So obviously the bottom knob here is your rise and fall, as you can see now. It's just rising up a touch very, very slowly. And this is going to be ideal for woodland. Like I say, this is the first time I've used it. The bottom one on the right there is your pan in action. So again, very delicately detailed movements. So for a pando, this would be ideal. Get it set up and just twist that one. And then the top one here that I'm just using as you see, you can just see on the back of the screen there, it's actually tilting the image. So yeah, you've got the three axes. The only downside I have found is I use a levelling base. And the levelling base on here, when you try and tilt forward like that, it only goes down so far, it just catches. But if you have a normal tripod, that wouldn't happen. So again, you saw me then just moving this which is a quick release so let's put it down there and you can see it. so the quick release turn it, and it you get the fast action and this is on all three of the knobs so you've got your tilt there look straight away you can get your composition sorted and then fine tune it with these little knobs so yeah but what I'll do anyway I'll get set up with this composition and once I've got set up with it I'll talk you through it as normal Hmm. What I'm trying to do, there's an arch on the tree on the top left hand side. I'm just trying to get that into frame and then let's get this level. So, as you can see, the little small little movements, ideal for woodland. I didn't think I'd be saying this, but yeah, it's ideal. Let me just come out a little bit. Just getting the sky in there, which I don't really want, but. I think that could be, just focus on right in the middle of the branch there. I want F7.1, one sixth of a second. So yeah, that'll be the two second timer. And there we go. Like you see, show, show you there how easy it was just to twist them little knobs and stuff like that. So yeah, very delicately, little small little turns getting that composition spot on. So yeah, I didn't think I'd be saying this to be honest, but yeah, impressed, really impressed. The build quality as well, straight away out of the box, the build quality absolutely got me with it. It's all aluminium, even these little knobs, there's no rubber or anything on it, all aluminium. So yeah, 
very nicely packaged, very nicely made. Hmm. Anyway, I'll pop this image up for you now, and let's let's try another competition around this goblin's lair. As you can see, I'm just sort of fine tuning now, just getting the, just getting it level, and then just panning left and right with this bottom one. It just moves ever so slightly. It's absolutely, yeah. I said it before. A lot of people have said, "Oh, once you got a gear, then you won't go back." But yeah, it is a bit chunkier than the ball head. I must admit, and it is slightly heavier. But getting the details on these shots. Yeah, it's very, yeah, very, very delicately done, but I'll show you what I mean anyway. Right, the composition on this one. I've got this, it's tuned in. So I've got this little knobbly bit on the tree, fallen tree, just coming on the left hand side, taking all this sky out, because that is too bland, is that? Got this big one here on the right side, coming through on the bottom. I've tried to get the separation as well between the middle there and obviously doing the separation it's absolutely great so yeah just moving just twisting again and it just moves the, just moves it up and down able to fine tune that separation on there I don't want to go too far down but yeah it's very is small turns it just does it makes a massive difference compared to a ball head where you've only got that one handle that one knob and you've got to balance it and everything but yeah you can more or less do this hands free where before I normally have one hand on the on the clasp on the ball head one hand on your camera this the camera is fixed on it does come with a mountain bracket as well but I haven't got the mountain bracket on because I use a capture clip but that all comes with it so yeah a nice could be a nice little addition this so anyway I'll take this shot, I'll bob this one up next for you. Uh, I did mention before about the capture plate. There you go, that's the plate that comes with it. That is aluminium as well. And obviously mentioned before about the ball head so while this you can just tweak it up and down obviously hands free not holding the camera apart from just holding the ball head because on the ball head you have to really twist that and then move it with your camera or the ball head with the other hand so basically you're using two hands this one using one hand to twist the knob which i never even thought of it that <laughs> just by using it now it's just it makes life that little bit easier even though it's a bit <coughs> excuse me, slightly bit taller but only only by about an inch but it is going to be about two inch wider that's all so that's one thing i take in consideration it is a little bit heavier than ball head not much so this is a a steel and aluminium one that's all aluminium so yeah it's hmm I think this could be an issue, a, a new addition to the bag. I might have to get a riser plate because I won't be changing this tripod. As you know from the channel, it's very rare I do any gear reviews unless it's going to help your photography. I think I've only ever done one gear review and that was about this tripod and this this ball head. But obviously this one today, it's all about this KNF concept, the GD3W. It has been supplied by Kent Faith. They did send me to try out, and obviously this is the first day of trying it out. So yeah, and I'm very, very impressed. But what I'll do now, we've just got a touch of light coming through, so I'll spin you around, and you can see. So what I'm doing at the moment, let's put that ball head down. So, that's your rise and fall. This is your left and right pan. Let me just zoom out a touch. I will crop this poly down to a 16 by 9 to get that level. Let's get that up a little bit because I'm going to cut some of that sky out. 
So I'm going to focus bang in the middle of the tree. Turn that. I'm on the ISO 100. I'm going to turn it up to F8 as well. Just blowing that scar out of touch, but not too bothered because I'm going to get rid of that in post. So I'm going to crop it to a poly 16 by 9. As you can see, I'm only using one hand. The camera's totally hands free, apart from pushing the shutter button. So there we go. This this image now is giving you a full expanse of the tree. I mean, it, oh, going a bit further, about 35 mil. Let's take another. Just getting the roots on the left hand side and all these branches creeping over on the right. So yeah, we have got a very hazy atmosphere. So whether I can bring that in post or not, I don't know, but we'll try anyway. So what I'll do, I'll end, you, I'll end with this final image. I'll put all the links down for Kent Faith, for their website. And if you do fancy having a little bob over there, just mention Ginger Captures, Darren. I will try and get a discount code for you as well. I'll bob that all in the link description below if they send me a discount code for you. But yeah, they have discounts running all the time. But yeah, thank you, Kent Faith and KNF. I think it's going to be a nice little addition to the bag, is this? So I hope you've enjoyed this. Any questions about it, just give me a message below. But yeah, I'm, I must admit, I'm surprisingly impressed with this. Really am, compared to the ball head. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, Give the old thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and I'll see you on the next one. Only a short and sweet one today, just to show you the Goblin's Lair and this geared head from KNF Concept. So yeah, bye for now.